New Zealand's central bank is expected to deliver this week a third straight half point rate hike and its most aggressive policy tightening in over two decades. But growing signs of a potentially sharp economic downturn, it may temper this hawkish dash. So it'll be interesting to see at midday tomorrow what the decision will be from uh, the New Zealand Central Bank and what their uh, report will be as well. So joining me to talk about how New Zealand has performed over the last few months or last six months since they started raising from 0.25% and now all the way potentially tomorrow up to 2.5%, one of the first uh, countries in the world to start raising interest rates aggressively. So to talk about the fact that the overall trend, even though they've been raising aggressively, the New Zealand dollar, especially against a strong US dollar, has been traveling south in a downward trend very rapidly so to have a chat about that is duncan cooper joining me how are you going duncan hi nathan how are we doing fantastic all right so we've got the new zealand dollar day chart in front of me and i've just put some arrows in here where the interest rate hikes have been occurring mm -hmm. so starting back here in november february april and then the last one in may and as we sure. can see when we first started back here in November, we were trading around about the 6950 level. But of course, at the moment, we can see we're trading almost down at the 6100 level. So wow. we're, you know, a good 800 pips or more down from when we first started moving the interest rates up. So it's going to be interesting what happens tomorrow. I'm sure the market's already factoring in 50 base point rise. And you can see that over the last two or three weeks, we've just been trading downwards. So, you know, when we get the rate hike, we might get maybe some positivity coming to the market for a short, short while. So I've got two levels drawn in here. I don't know where price will be come tomorrow. We may be further down, more close to the 60, 100 level, maybe. So we've got broken day support here at 61.24. So that could just be a level where the market rallies back to, holds and fails for a further decline within this downtrend. Or if we get a bit more of a higher rally, the next really strong level of broken support is this monthly level here at 62.04. That's a major monthly level of support that we broke through over the last couple of weeks. Yeah. So if we get a strong rally, certainly gonna be watching the 62.04 level, just price start to wanna hold and fail there for the next move down. Overall, these interest rate rises don't, seemingly want to have a positive effect on the New Zealand dollar. So I'm just using that same philosophy. Uh, after a rate hike, usually we get a decline. So looking for an opportunity to sell a decline at resistance. Absolutely. And I know that the, the Bank of New Zealand, they're being reported to saying that if they do continue to rise like this, they could be doing more harm than good in combating sort of soaring inflation. So we're, we're in a, a very interesting time for sure. And, and uh, it will be interesting to see how this plays out tomorrow. Thanks, Duncan. No problem.